I've seen this town when it was in uh, better days, when it had double the population, we had more industry, and I hate to see it fade away. And so when you see a hospital go, that's not a good sign. David Bure knows the importance of rural health care. In 1999, Bure's dad had a heart attack, but while the chest pains raged on, the family discussed the affordability of an ambulance trip. Ultimately, they decided to drive themselves, and before they could finish the one mile long drive, Mr. Bure died in the car. 24 years later, his son is reckoning with the fact that his neighbors may have to make a trip to Sepulpa for emergency care. I've had health issues of my own. Uh, I've, I've had a stroke, I've had uh, cancer seven years ago, and uh, I know a lot of folks in this town that are in their 80s and they're dependent. And for Beret, there's been a cloud of confusion around the situation. There are cars parked on the property, but for the clinic adjacent to the closed hospital. Recently, Karis Health has taken over administration of the hospital, and they're in the midst of getting the licensing to operate. What seems to be holding them up is the pharmacy license. An attorney working for the city of Bristow sent us a statement saying in part, the account for Karis Lakeside Hospital will go live next week, allowing the ordering of medications. We hope to have that process complete the first week of November. So what happens after that process is complete? That's a little more unclear. I called the president of Karis Health for some more answers. He was unavailable, but I did leave a message. All to say, no one can confirm a firm opening date. Beret told me he's not trying to throw stones or throw anyone under the bus. But considering the taxes he voted for, to keep the hospital running, he'd like to see results. When they held a press conference saying, we're getting ready to open any day now, they have a responsibility to then come back and say, well, you know, we hate to say it, but uh, it, something happened and <laughs> it's going to be a couple, three months. Reporting in Bristow, I'm Brody Myers, 2 News, Oklahoma.